everybody! Today we will discover the places and works of the great Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo di Serpier da Vinci was born in the city of Vinci, not far from Florence, on 15 April 1452. He is one of the most important and influential artists of the Renaissance. He worked in different artistic fields, became an universal talent, and he was philosopher, painter, sculptor, a set designer, anatomist, botanist, engineer, and much more. Let's see together through his life, places, and works. One of the first cities where Leonardo da Vinci grew up and lived is Anchiano, one of the hamlets of Vinci. His house is located on the slopes of Montalbano and today has become a house museum. In fact, here we can admire its reproductions of work of art that help us to travel through the life and work of the great artists. We find also a room where you can see some small documentaries about his life. Here we also find the reproduction of one of his most important works of art, The Last Supper. Moreover, here tourists can relax along the green road, a botanical road that is uh, 2 kilometers long. Visiting the House Museum of Leonardo with a ticket, you have the opportunity to visit in the city of Vinci, a museum where you can discover the reconstructions of Leonardo's inventions, such as the model of a bicycle. We also find some sketches, letters and research in the field of anatomy. Here you can also discover the design of the Vitruvian Man and discover one of the city's terraces where you will find a wooden building representing the Vitruvian Man. Going up to the top floor of the museum, you can enjoy a breathtaking view of the green of Tuscany. Obviously, the inventions actually built by Leonardo are scattered around the world. In addition, if you happen to visit the city of Milan, do not forget to visit the National Museum of Science and Technology in da Vinci, where you can admire the largest collection in the world of models of machines made from drawings by Leonardo da Vinci. In 1469, Leonardo da Vinci moved to Florence with his family and here he met Andrea del Verrocchio and began working in his workshop. Like many other students of Verrocchio, for example Botticelli, here he began uh, to work on his first important work. In the Uffizi we find one of these, the Baptist of Crete, a work born as a collaboration between him and his teacher. From here it is confirmed that the student had surpassed the master, managing to realize uh, uh, an angel even more beautiful than Verrocchio. Leonardo will then begin to work independently to realize the work of the Annunciation, also preserved in the Uffizi. Many did not believe it was Leonardo's and confirmed the author only show a comparison with the angel of the Baptist of Christ and in the painting we find several errors of perspective, but the most important is the harm of the Virgin Mary. In Washington we find the portrait of woman, a woman identified in Geneva de Benci, one of the most beautiful and cultural women of the Republic of Florence. In 1482 Leonardo moved to Milan, where he sought to fascinate Francesco Sforza with his engineering, architectural, sculptural and pictorial ideas. Among the first works that were commissioned here in Milan, we find the version of rock, uh, which today we can admire it in, uh, in all its splendor in Paris, or rather, the Louvre Museum. But we find a second version of this painting now in the National Gallery in London. Among the other works commissioned by Sforza, we find the lady with Hermann, or rather the portrait of Cecilia uh, Gallerani. It is now in the Krakow Museum. In 1494, Leonardo received a new commission to be carried out inside the convent of Santa Maria delle Grazie in Milan. It is one of his most important frescoes, The Last Supper. 
At the beginning of the 16th century, Leonardo worked on another of his masterpieces, the Mona Lisa. A painting still today shrouded in mystery for that smile and that enigmatic look. Probably the woman is Lisa Gerardini, wife of Francesco Bartolomeo del Giocondo. Today the work is kept in the Louvre Museum in Paris. Leonardo's works are many and are scattered all over the world. Have you had the opportunity to admire some of his work? If you want to write it in the comments and let me know if you would like other videos about Leonardo's places and work. Don't forget to follow me on the various social pages. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest and YouTube. In addition, in the description, you will find the link to my website. If you want to activate the notification so you don't miss my content. And don't forget my next video, with which we will discover the romantic sasse of Germany.